Hey guys, welcome back to Lego Audio Tutorials. I'm Yong from SG Audio Hive. Recently, there is an increase uh, for interest in this uh, earbud, uh, the Sony MA755. We have received a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, requests uh, to actually mod them to the MMCX uh, removable cable because uh, this is, I think, guess it is a bundled cable. Uh, it's a it's a it's a bundled earpiece uh, from some purchasers and uh, it's very cheap to get. Uh, it's for I think it's for a Bluetooth dongle. Uh, whereas it's it's quite short and uh, people actually want to use it uh full length. So in just a few simple steps, we are going to teach you how to mod your own MH seven fifty five into MMCX detachable mod. Let's go. For the tutorial, we will <coughs> for the tutorial we will require uh, uh any earbud that you wish to modify to MMCX. Uh, this is a bullet shaped earbud. Uh, going down, we have the wire going down. Uh, you need a Dremel or a small needle file uh, to enlarge the holes at the bottom for the connectors. You need female MMCX connectors. A pair. Uh, these are epoxy resin. Uh, epoxy party. Uh, mix them together. Uh, we will need uh, tweezers, uh, and that scissors, and that's all for the tools required. Okay, uh, we start by mixing the the, the party. We will prepare our female pins. We do not need uh, any enamel cables. We will be looking at part lines around the IEM and this gives us a clue on how to open up the IEM. So we see we have a vent hole here, a vent hole uh, which we can leverage to open up. Uh, we can open it up by using our fingernails or using the tweezers. Let us try using the fingernail. Let, let's try prying open it. <clears throat> prying does work for this particular IEM. If else, uh, we have to find either a, a, a tweezer to, to get leverage or a thin blade to open up the part line. Be very careful when working with uh, knives. We have to remove the strain relief. Okay, as you can see, uh, currently the hole doesn't fit. Other IEMs may have a big enough hole, but most IEM that we encountered uh, has a hole that is too small. So now we are going to actually enlarge the hole using a Dremel tool. Here it goes. Now we are going to unknot this uh, and remove the rubber shielding. Take note on the wire color. We have uh, we have uh, a pair of wire at each side: a green twisted color and a copper color, a red twisted color and a copper color. Uh, take note at the driver. Usually, it's mark. Usually, they do mark out uh, where is the. You see the red marking. This is the positive, and it's also connected to the red wire. As always, we have to thin the wires. We will solder it onto the the female connector. Okay, we have prepared the the two sides uh, for installation. Okay, now we do have the the properly mixed epoxy party. We we'll split it into two. Okay. And half them again. This time around, we will make a long shape and surround the edges.
and we'll try to push this uh, in from the inside out of the hole we will need a pair of tweezers for that once we are through <coughs> we can put on the rest of the resin we will do the same for the other side At this point, we can use a tiny little bit of glue. Get a any form of CA glue. And needle to apply just a drip. When we are installing, we have to make sure the air vent of the driver is at the top where the vent hole is. The mod is completed. So before 2 hours, uh, we do not recommend that uh, you actually put in any form of uh, cable to test it uh, but like previously we have shown before we can use a, a MMCS connector with the ring removed it doesn't have the locking ring this one comes with this one still has the locking ring so it doesn't click and you can test if, uh, if the drivers and everything are working properly Hey guys, thanks for watching If you like our content, uh, please help us to subscribe to the channel And uh, you can follow us on Instagram uh, and Facebook uh, for more updates and. Uh, if you have any comments or on things that you want to know more, you want to learn more, any uh, new videos that you want to see, any questions, uh, do post them in the comments below and uh, I'll try my best to answer everything. So once again, thank you all for watching.